Hi, Beth Warren, CrossFit Joyride, Coaches Development Homework, Lesson 4, Class Logistics. So here is the floor plan for our gym. Uh, it's kind of a long rectangle. You enter through this door. You can walk into the lobby athlete area. To your right is a long wall with two bathrooms, a storage room, a dressing room. The wall stops. There's kind of a little indentation here. There's open floor space. That's where our wall balls are kept. And this is a great area for wall balls and wall walks, handstand push-ups, things like that. To the left over here, this is our rig. In the middle is open floor space. In the middle here, this is where our boxes are kept and there's one rig. There's a garage door here that's great. This is where our athletes enter and exit for a run. Um, there's another little indentation here with some open floor space. There is a line for wall balls, so that's uh, an option here as well. This is a storage room. This is the coach's corner. You come around here along this wall, our kettlebells are stored, some bars are on the wall, and um, there are uh, dumbbells here. This is a walkway, and on the opposite side, there are a string of rowers. Then are our plates and barbells. And there's more cardio equipment here with the ski ergs and the bikes. Behind here, these are our GHDs, and then there's one rack here. So for this um, wad, I picked the 10 minute AMRAP, 40 feet front rack lunge, 40 feet handstand walk, and 40 double unders. So I needed a lot of um, empty space for this workout. Um, typically when we do a, um, like a lunging workout, we go this way, but because um, I'm giving myself six to seven athletes for this class, um, I need more athletes on the floor here. So I'm breaking it up to a 20 foot walk up here and walk back. I knew that I could fit five here because the mats are four by six and I was able to figure out they could comfortably fit and go up um, 20 feet and back 20 feet. I can have five athletes here. I would probably stagger them just to make sure that there's not so much congestion. So one, two, three, four, five. I've got a six athlete in this area and a seventh athlete over here. Now, just to make it more challenging, I asked myself, what if I had 10 athletes? What would I do? Um, and I thought one option would be to have uh, five start with handstand uh, walk, then go to double unders and lunges, and then five start with double unders, go to lunges and do the handstand walk. That would lessen the congestion here. I also know that I'm actually going to get a break with my athletes because not many of them can do handstand walks. That will cut down on the congestion because they can do box work, um, handstand walk progressions um, on the box. So with either um, group, that would work. So the other thing I like about our gym, I was just noticing like safety wise is we have a nice walkway around the perimeter of our gym that we try to keep open. That also helps me as a coach get, where, um, get to where I need to be to visit these athletes during the workout. So that's my class logistics. Thank you so much.